All right, Angie, we're live. We are here. Hello, hello. <laughs> Don's here. Hi, Don. <laughs> we're like, we're not sure if anybody's here, but hey, you know, <laughs> we're here. We're people, here. People yeah. will come. People will come, and you know, if they can't come, they can catch us on the replay. And yeah, absolutely. Yep, and they can see what we've done and that kind of stuff, how we did it, and yeah, follow along. Yeah, right. absolutely. So. Yeah, we found this uh, pattern and we both fell in love with it and thought, man, we'd like to do it. So if you choose to do the blanket, you could do the blanket. What I learned is that the blanket, they really made it with a different yarn. Yes, they made it with an extra large yarn and yeah. um, a six millimeter hook. Yes. Whereas we're using more of a DK weight yarn and a three millimeter hook. Correct. Except, well... Angie, you did finally find a three millimeter. I or, did. I did finally find a three millimeter. <laughs> and I don't have a three millimeter. I've got a three point two five. So I'm well, using. Yeah, and I just want to say, okay, I work. I went ahead and worked this up because I wanted to show everybody, you know, what the first um, part is going to look like when it's finished. And uh, I could not find a three millimeter hook. So I thought, what? how much difference could it possibly make? I So I grabbed a four millimeter hook and I worked it up with that. Now in the um, instructions, it says that this square should measure 12 by 12 centimeters. Mine actually measures 18 by 18 centimeters. So it makes that much of that's a difference. That's how much of a difference. <laughs> yes, that's a big difference. And when you're talking about, we're going to be making several squares and octagons that are going to then be sewn together to make a square pillow. Um, yes. So if you're talking that big of a difference, we're going to have, it's going to be a huge pillow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's already 50 by 50. Actually, I read that wrong, Mindy. It's 40 by 40. I, I, I swear I just saw 50 by 50. Oh, did you? I did. Maybe. Okay. Okay. I think I just saw 50 by 50 here. Yes. It's not instruction somewhere. Which is still a big, which is a big pillow. It is. So I'm it? not sure what I'll do with this square that's, um, <laughs> um, it'll just be pretty. It'll hang yeah. around. Yeah. It'll just hang around and be pretty. I swear I saw that somewhere. I don't but, know. But, um, it. if now this pattern is available on the website, Sisters in Stitch, they're releasing it, um, once, one per week. They started in May. So we're getting started, you know, later than they are. That's okay. Um, yes. and they release a part every Friday. And yes. they also have uh, YouTube tutorials that go along with it. They do. So. Yeah, it's right here. It says 50 by 50 pillow form. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Right. And the blanket would be huge. The blanket would be, yes, really big with a six yeah. millimeter hook. And, you know, actually I found, you know, we were talking about um, ordering the kits because you can order this kit yeah. from Sisters and Stitch, but you can also order it from the directly from yarn and colors which is the manufacturer yes. of the yarn that they used yes. and it was a little bit cheaper on yarn and colors but that is coming from the uk so you are going to pay a bit for shipping yeah it was a little it, well, it was a little expensive that's why we yeah. decided we would go with just something we could get locally yeah and we so, like this yarn so. yes i am loving working with this yarn um yes. I, i'm Very making soft a, yes and it's it's got a nice shine to it mm -hmm. it is yeah. they used 100 percent mercerized cotton this is a hundred percent lyocell which yeah. mindy and i had to um look it up and see what lyocell <laughs> was but it's basically it's a plant-based yep. um fiber so you know, kind of like, like a bamboo, but not lyocell is very shiny. Get that yes. shine with the lyocell. Yes, yeah. exactly. exactly. So Linda's here, and simply complicated. Linda, Catherine, Deborah, and Mickey Joe are here. Hi, everybody. Like, you'll have to let us know if you're just watching us or if you're actually gonna, you know, crochet along with us. So you know, I've heard from quite a few people who um, said they were gonna do this, and I've heard from a couple people who got their yarn. So hopefully, cool. we'll have some people who are are cool. uh, joining in. Awesome. So should we get started? Yeah. So Angie's got one color. There's three different colorways. Angie's got the ones with the pink and this like golden color. Mine are blue. And then there's another one. I think the other one's called Woods or something like that. And it has some greens 
tans and browns in it. So you have to figure out if you're going to buy your yarn locally, what colors match the colors that are um, in the, the pattern, what they used. And then I had to come back today and go, okay, so what color, what color, what color matches yep. their color, you know? <laughs> so that's what I did is I put it on my bands. I put yes. on my bands what yes. color I'm substituting for the colors that they had. So yes. it made it easier for me to um, look at the instructions and then say, okay, that means this one. Yeah. So. And so when you look at the instructions, the instructions have in parentheses at the top, what color you should start with, what color your rounds in based on which color way you're, you're doing. Right. So like you're going to start with mustard. I'm starting with cream. Exactly. So, and my cream is actually called ivory. <laughs> so that's their cream, my ivory. Right? right. Yeah. So it starts with a magic circle. Now, you know how I feel about magic circles. I do. Yep. I don't do them. So yes. You do not have to start with a magic circle if you prefer not to. Now, Mindy's the queen of magic circles. No, 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 I'm not. I still have to play with it every time. And then I forget how Brandy showed me how to do it because she showed me a different way. And I forget what she showed me. I am going to start with, a, now I started this one with a chain of four and slip stitched into my first chain to form a ring. But I, I it, you're only putting six single crochets into that yes. ring. So a chain of four was too many. So I'm actually going to start with a chain of three and slip stitch into the ring. Let me see if I even remember how to do it. I know that Brandy showed me a really easy way that she's learned how to do it. And I'll be darned if I could remember how she did it. But. Now, another thing about this. I'm not going to mess with it. No, you're not going to do it? <laughs> no, I'm not going to mess with it. Another thing about this pattern is she starts all of her rounds with standing stitches. Yeah. Now, I don't like, I don't think standing stitches look like regular stitches anyway. So I chose to start mine with chains. So like for a double crochet, I started with a chain three single crochet. I, you know what I mean? Instead of starting with a double crochet? Instead of starting with a standing. Yeah. Mm. So you did three and you thought three was enough? Yeah, I thought three was enough. Well, I did four on the first one and I thought it was too many. So I'm going to try three. I'm going to try four and see what I think. Actually, this is a smaller hook. So I'm having yeah, a hard time. Yeah, you might want the four. Yeah, I'm having a hard time with three. So I'm yeah. going to do four. I'm yeah. going to do four. Now, this is the first time Mindy or I has ever done anything like this. this so you're going to have to be a little bit patient with us because yep. we're not seasoned professionals in terms of uh, doing, um, you know, something like this on camera. Nope. <laughs> and it's really tricky. I mean, it is a little to try tricky. to show what you're doing. and So you're going to do your ring. And then you're going to do six yep. single crochets into your ring. I'm already getting caught in this yarn. I don't know why. Well, so am I. I, you know what? I'm going to have to go up a hook size. I just, I can't, I can't with that. It, the problem, my problem is I only like Susan Bates hooks. Well, pre predominantly. And that one that I was using was a rounded end hook and I just couldn't do it. So I'm going up to a 375. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm getting it now. It's just little. This beginning is so little. Yeah. It, the first row is always hard for the first round. So you're going to put six single crochets into that for into that ring. Yep. Yeah. Three. And then we're going, we're going to slip stitch back to our first one. I'm tempted to go to a three, five. I have a three, five. I, I think we should. Yeah. If you're having a hard time. If I got this little, little, it's so cute. I got this little tiny little thing here. <laughs> little donut. <laughs> oh boy. So then you're going to slip stitch into your first stitch. Yep. 
And then you're going to start your next round in the same color and you're going to start it with a standing double crochet. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start with a chain three. Well, I'll, I'll do what you're doing. And then you're going to put another double crochet into the same stitch. Lisa, we are making a pillow. It's called the Island Stroll from Sisters in Stitch. And then you're going to put two double crochets two in, each, in one. each one. So you're going to end up with a total of 12 double crochets at the end of this round. This is little. <laughs> it, it gets easier as it gets as the project gets a little bigger. And make sure you count your stitches because you don't want to end up, you know, when you're start, at the very beginning, it's important that you have, well, it's always important that you have it, the right number of stitches, but at least start out correctly. At least start out right. When you get a little bit further along, you can fudge it a little. I'm working on a big blanket and I had to fudge it a little last night. I had to do 137 back post half double crochets per side for four sides. Hmm. And somehow <laughs> I lost count. Okay. And the other thing that she does and she recommends is doing a needle join. How do you feel about a needle join, Mindy? I don't really care. I don't care either. I don't think that. I watched her do that and I was like, Ugh. yeah, I don't think that it makes all I'm, that much difference. No, I kidding. tried it both ways and I was, I was, I, it, the difference was imperceptible. Yeah, I'm good at just slip stitching into. Do I, how come I have too many stitches here? One, two, three, four. I don't know how many I have right now. Slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and fasten off. Now, I always chain two when I fasten off because I'm worried about things falling apart. I know that makes a bigger knot. But like I said, it's going to, you can weave it in so the knot is towards the back and you'll never even notice it. So you do a chain two after you slip stitch? Yeah. You do? Uh-huh. Instead of a chain one yeah. to fasten off. Yeah. Um, if it's, you know, for this, for this being a pillow and it's not going to, I mean, it's only going to be a one-sided thing. Um, it probably isn't that important, but... Uh, for like a blanket or something that you need to, or a wearable, something that you want to be sturdy, I I like a chain too. I need scissors. Scissors. Uh oh, scissors. you don't have any scissors. Well, no, there's scissors. scissors. <laughs> Lisa says she's been crocheting since she was 11 years old. I wish that I had learned how to crochet at that young age. I did. I learned when I was quite young. My, my grandma taught me. Well, and Lisa thanks. sent you a so super much. chat. I know. Thank you, Lisa. That's so sweet. Hi, Melly. So now we're going to start with um, round three. Are you ready for round three? I am ready. I'm not going to weave in my ends as I go just because. No, I'm not either. Okay. So you're going to find the first double crochet of any set of two. And you're going to start with a standing single crochet. Now, for single crochet, I will do a standing one. And this is in your next color. This is in your next color. So I'm yes. moving on to pearl. So I have to figure out what my next color is. You're ice blue. Yep, I'm ice blue. So, so yes. then you're going to do, oh, you're not attached yet, are you? No, I'm I'll, not. I'll wait for you. I'm not attached. Remember, I had to go get scissors. Oh, Melly, it's so easy. It's it really, you know, when I started crocheting, I started out with, um, I made an entire blanket. The first part of the blanket was single crochet. The second part of the blanket was half double crochet. 
The third part of the blanket was double crochet. And then I just did it in the reverse order back down, you know, the other end. And it taught you all the stitches. And it taught me all the stitches. And it taught it to me in such a repetition, like I, because I did a whole blanket. And it was in such a rep, you know, I did it so many times that it really kind of like cemented it in my muscle memory. And um, it, and I've just been going crazy ever since. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Did you just, did you just do like a, what'd you do? You put your yarn in and you single crocheted? Yep. I yes. did a standing single crochet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I put another single crochet. So that first stitch is going to get two single crochets. And then that second double crochet from, of the group is going to get a front post half double. Oh, I'm not looking at the right round. Oh my goodness. I'm like, what are we talking about? Here? <laughs> so you're going to do a front post half double. Now the next stitch is going to get two single crochets, but be very careful because the next stitch is actually kind of hidden. So you got your front post half double. I watch this much of her. And then around the next one is your front post half double. What do you do after the front post half double? Go into the very next stitch, which is going to look hidden. It's going to be a hidden stitch. They're all front post half doubles all the way nope, around? Nope, nope, nope. And do two singles. Oh, so yeah. It's going to be yes. two singles and then a front post half double. Two singles and a front post half double all the way around. And I'm just going to weave my tails in as I go. Let's crochet my tail in right as I go so I don't have to deal uh, with my tail. I'm, I'm way beyond my tail here. I can grab it still. I can't do it there. Lisa, you taught crochet classes at Michael's? That is very cool. I would love to do that. I love, I when I was um, still working, I did training um, for multiple uh, police departments in um, a new incident reporting system that we did. I did it statewide, the training for all uh, agencies. And I absolutely loved doing training. So I think that I would... Um, I think I would enjoy teaching the classes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm coming to the end here. I'm putting two. How are you to the end already? Holy cow. Two singles and then my front post half double. And then you want to, now you can do a needle join if you want. Um, if Should we show a needle join? Or just let you can look up a tutorial on a needle join if you want it's to. Good if you want it, but um... it, it's not. I, yeah, I'm not doing it. So I'm just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. How many stitches do we have when we're done with this round? You should have 36 stitches when you're done with this round, because you'll have two. Is that true or 24? Um. She doesn't give a stitch count. Oh, 12, 12, 12, 12 sing, you should have 12 single crochets and six front post half doubles. One, two, three, four, five. Why do I have seven? <laughs> Glad I counted. Because that goes to my first stitch. <laughs> She's counting. Sorry, I shouldn't count out loud, should I? You're fine. <laughs> My count is off. I'm going to, I'm just going to, there we go. What's our total? 12 singles and six front post half doubles. So 18 stitches. 18 total, yep. And I'm going to fasten off that color. 
How'd you figure that out already? Thought your thing was off. I cheated it. Oh, she cheated it. Mm -hmm. okay. Which I would never do. I mean, if, if we weren't live right now, I would have taken it out and redone it. But I don't want to. So what do you end with? Your front post or your two? Yep, you end with a front post. And a front double. post. Yep. So that should go here. And then you should have one, you know, uh, double crochet still that you can see. Let's see if this is right. I don't think I'm right. I think I'm all screwed up somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, Ooh, eight. Lynn just got a DAC box. Nice. I got 18 stitches. Well, then you're good. That's all I care. That's, I, got yeah. a weird little, I got a weird little pucker here, but. Yeah, it, um, it will. The, mine, this one, I ended up with a weird little pucker too, but see, it evened itself out at the end. It pulled itself with the next round, it pulled itself together. So the next round is really fun. The next round, we're going to be making these. Um, I think it looks like a tulip and you can see they kind of stand, they kind of stand up these yeah. flower petals. They're yeah. really, they're really cool looking. I really like the look of it. I don't know how comfortable of a pillow that's going to make, but you know, well, I, it's soft. It's really soft. I did not sew my blue in well enough to cut it off here. So crochet it in. I did not. So, all right. That's what I got. Is that what I'm supposed to have? That's what I'm supposed to have. See, it's weird looking. All right. So it now is we're, weird looking. It we're is moved not, to our next color, correct? Yep, which you're going to be on denim and I'm denim. on gold pink. I don't have my denim prepared. My uh -oh. denim is not prepared. I find an end. Yeah, somewhere. Else. I, I told Andrew before we went live, my, uh, my first skein oh look at this one was perfect angie look at that one came out perfect that one i don't have the other end yet i lie there it is yeah but that one worked a whole lot better than my cream did i had half the skein come out <laughs> to find my end i'm like seriously yep, you had yarn barf i had more than barf i had like so I'm terribly up now. You're right, Lisa. No shame when you got to take a few rows out. Oh, I've uh, done that plenty of times. Yep, me too. Me too. So we're going to start this round with a standing back post half double crochet. How do you start with that? I'll show you. <laughs> I have to see you better then. Uh, can here I'll get close. Can I get my yeah, hand? Let's see if I can make you like. Let's see. No, um, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> I'll make you the big person. Oh, I'm the guest, so I can't be the big person. I thought we could do that. I don't know. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Just the little person. Hi. So um, you're going to start in any of the first single crochets of the set. So you remember we did two single crochets and then a back or a front post half double. So we're going to start in any of the first two single crochets. And to start a back post half double crochet with a standing one, you're going to wrap your yarn around oh, you're not hook. starting with a thing on your hook i start yeah i have a slip knot on my hook oh you do okay. yep and then you're gonna wrap it around once okay now you're gonna have to kind of hold it there with your finger and then you're gonna grab your stitch now this is a little bit tough because it's a little hard to ha back post half double into a single crochet and you're going into the back yep i'm go go from the uh and then you're gonna pull up a loop and holding that those three loops on your hook with your finger. I cannot see where, what'd you go into? You went back around the stitch? Yup, back post. So, so you came in from the back. Yup. You went around that stitch. Here, let me do it again. Yeah, you're just too small. It's hard to see. I don't know how to make you larger. 
Okay. So you're going to yarn over. Oh, well, there. I just made you bigger. I just got rid of all of the comments for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yarn over. Insert from the back to the front and front to back. And it's hard to see that. It's hard to get it in there because it's a single crochet. Back to front, front to back, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now you got three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. But you got to be careful because it's going to want to come out because you're not really attached to anything yet. <sighs> you can do it, Mindy. I'm trying. It's so there. little. It's so little. It's so tight. I might go to a new one. I'm kind of by my my join. And then you're going to do, oh, and now I just lost my instructions, Mike. Okay. So you're going to back post half double around um, the, the two single crochets. And then you're going to do a front post V stitch around the next, around the front post half double. Okay, and the front post, this is the first time I've ever done a front post V stitch. So you're going to yarn over, go from front to back and back to front because we're doing a front post. Pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And their V stitches are chain two V stitches. Some V, most V stitches are chain one V stitches. This is a chain two V stitch. Chain two, yarn over and do another front post double. And then that you've got your V stitch. Okay, and then you're gonna repeat that all the way around. So your next two stitches are going to be back post half doubles and those are the single crochets and it's going to be tough to get your, it's going to be tough to get your hook in there. It's going to be tight. Back post half double, back post half double and a front post V stitch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you getting it? Nope. I hope these are chain two V stitches. I feel like they were. Then we're going to do two back post half doubles. Again, that first one's really tight because you got those two. You might have to slide it over. What was the front post V again? You're going to do a front post double crochet, chain two front post double crochet in the same stitch. Is that going around your half double from last time? It's going around your front post half double from last time. Yep. Okay. So you do one front post half double. Chain two. I think the thing I'm struggling with the most is this is so small. Yeah, I had to move up a hook size. And I'm getting like. Are you might be if your hook is too small, you could be getting. Are are you splitting? Yeah. Yeah, it's because your hook your hook size is too small for this yarn. I yes. think that this yarn so might. Be I think I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna start over because okay. I'm really having a hard time with that needle. Um, I think that the um, the yarn that they used might have been a little bit thinner than this yarn. Um, so a three a size three hook, you know, was probably appropriate. Yeah. What are you using? A three point. I'm using a 3.75. I got a 3.5 and a 3.75. So here we go, Lisa. See? Tear it out. Tear it no, out. No, Lisa, I've never made a Barbie dress. Ooh, Little Treasures by Nancy. You like to make amigurumis? 
I got in a mystery box, I got um, a couple of those Red Heart Amigurumi cakes. I'm having a hard time finding this stitch. And um, I tried and I just couldn't do it. Just, I, I, it wasn't that it was too small or anything um, because I, I, I started making doilies. So I don't have a problem working with the smallness of the yarn. I want to, I want to take and pull that piece of yarn through that's hanging out the front there. There we go. All right. So now I've got my, so I'm at that one. Hmm. But no, I've never done, so I, I, I tried amigurumi and I couldn't quite get the hang of it. And then we're chain two and another front post double to make our front post V stitch. Whoops, I split my yarn there. Get that back on the hook. Yeah, I just kept getting caught on everything. I get caught on the half double. I get caught on just. And when you're working back posts, it is easy to split yarn, I I think. Um, and this isn't really splittable yarn. I mean, this is, this is, I think it's really nice yarn. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of my row. Well, I'm, I'm back at the beginning. Which is fine. It's better to have. Oops, I already did that. I was going to put three of them in there. I didn't need to do that. So at the end of this row, I should have six V stitches and 12 back post half doubles. And it's going to curl up a little bit. Don't worry about it. It'll um, it'll work itself out in later rounds. All right. So I've come to the end of that round. And you started with that standing back post half double crochet. I'm just going to slip stitch into that stitch. Sorry about my phone is making all kinds of noise. I hope you guys can't hear that. Sounded like a fart. That <laughs> did? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a fart. I'm having a hard time getting in that stitch there. That's why I hate standing stitches because I have a hard time ending them off. I have a hard time slip stitching in. So you're going to stick with the same color for the next round. And we are on round um, five. Okay, so in round five, we're gonna work in stitches from round four and round three, all right? And we're only gonna work around the chain two space of the V stitch, and we're gonna skip the double crochets entirely, okay? So we're only working in the chain two spaces of the V stitches. Okay, so. You're going to do seven double crochets in the chain two space from round four. All right. So that's gonna, how you're going to start right after you do your slip stitch. So one and a double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I got to get some more yarn here. Um, Amagrumi cakes. I got those in a mystery box, uh, Nancy, from, um, um, what's the name of that company? Kitchener Yarn. From Can they're from Canada. Uh, but it's it just Red Heart. It was Red Heart Amagurumi cakes. And it had um, uh, like the four different types of yarn that you needed to make two 
complete amigurumis. Two, three, okay, we got four, five. Oh, I shouldn't be counting out loud. I know that's anno annoying. <laughs> okay, and now we're coming to the part. Now, this is what's going to make your flower petals stand up. We are going to slip stitch into this single crochet from round three. So you see, you've got your two back post half doubles right here. You've got this, and then on the round below, you've got that first stitch and that second stitch. You're gonna slip stitch into this second stitch. So you're gonna come up from the bottom, grab your yarn, pull it through. I'm catching on something and pull it through. And that's a slip stitch. And what that does is that pulls that pedal so it's gonna stand up. And then you're just gonna go right back into your chain two space of your next V-stitch and make another pedal, which is seven half double, or I'm sorry, seven double crochets. And if you're not familiar with Sisters in Stitch, they have some amazing patterns. I have done a few of their, um, not full, uh, I've done like one square of some of their crochet alongs. They're have, they do overlay crochet, which is just absolutely beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. I did it again. I'm so sorry. <sighs> How are you doing over there, Mindy? Uh, I'm I'm working on my uh, row three. Okay, good. I'm on row three. Oh, now I'm in a slip stitch. Lisa, you make doilies too? That's awesome. I just recently got into doily making and I love it. It's you made some doilies. I have, I haven't shown, I haven't done a yarn. I'm overdue for a yarny video. Yeah. I haven't seen them. Yeah. yeah. I haven't shown them yet. I've made uh, two and a half. <laughs> two and a half doilies. Yeah. I ran out of thread. I got to get some more. And that price of that thread, it can vary drastically. Like, I got some at Hobby Lobby, and for 400 yards, it was like $5. And then I got some at Walmart, and it's like DMC brand, and it was uh, $5 for 1,000 yards. And it seems to be the same stuff. Slip stitch into that second three we're supposed to have how many stitches do we have for row three 18 yes 12 let me see round three we're supposed to have 12 single crochet six mm -hmm. front post half doubles okay. i got 18 okay i'm doing good on that one yep you're doing great let me just, see how, how it looks. It just went up one size on my hook. It made it a whole lot easier. It made a world of difference. Yep. I'm used to this size hook. I'm okay. working on a... Yeah, see? There's my little circle. There we go. All right. Now. Now I can go back to this crazy thing that I couldn't figure out how to do. Oh, look, my slip knot is still on my hook. I better get rid of some of these hooks because I'm going to use the wrong one. And we join in any first single crochet. All right, and I'm still on row five, round five. Let's see. Oh, you made the unicorn one, Nancy? 
I have to make one. Flamingo. I didn't know um, about the flamingo. Oh, I saw. I have a flamingo. Oh, Lisa DMC is better quality for doilies. Good. I, you know what? I assumed that it would be. Um, but what happened was my grandmother was an avid crocheter. And I don't know why, as a kid, I never learned to crochet from her. I just, uh, just, it just, you know, I wasn't interested or whatever, but, um, she passed away probably 15 years ago and my mother kept a lot of her crochet stuff and, uh, what Sorry. was that? That was my phone. Oh, <laughs> my mother kept a lot of her crochet stuff. And when I started crocheting, she gave it to me and she had a whole big bag of books about doilies and I ignored it for the longest time. I thought there's no way I can do that. So finally my skill level got to the point where I thought, yeah, I can do that. So I just was um, at Hobby Lobby and I happened to walk by that, you know, the thread and I thought I'm going to I'm going to give that a try and I started working with working the doily patterns and I absolutely loved it so I had to get more thread now I've only worked with 30 thread but I need to get some 10 or is that or am I saying that backwards whichever one I worked with the heavier one I need to get the lighter one I cannot get this to all come through. Lisa, you're waiting for you're waiting for what? I'm waiting for them. What? Wow, you've been um, ten and eleven are better, Lisa. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Yeah, I figured I would start with the bigger since I was new to it. So I'm at the end of my round. I should show you what I'm doing. I'm at the end of my round and um, I am going to, I have that, I, I did my last seven petal, double crochet petals and now I need to just slip stitch back into that single crochet or that half double crochet from round three. Whoops, I'm doing a single crochet. I need to slip stitch. I split my yarn. <laughs> I just keep getting tangled up in mine, so. We are not professionals by any means. By any stretch of the imagination, we're not professionals at this. But we just thought it would be fun to, um, you know, hang out and do this together. Yeah. Struggle. Struggle. Watch struggle. Watch us struggle. Okay, so for round six, we are going to um, we are going to change colors. So I'm going to fasten off. Do you want me to wait for you, Mindy? Um, no. The the V stitch was two two chains in between each. Yes, the it's a chain two V stitch. Now that one might have, because of where that last stitch ended up, that one might have been better with a needle join because you might see that little knot. But honestly, in the grand scheme, I mean, look at that. That's where my knot is. Can you really tell the difference? Not really. I, I don't, I feel like it's an imperceptible difference. All right, so for round six, we're moving on to limestone. And limestone is this color right here. Well, at least it is for me. Yeah, Lisa, exactly. It's all about the fun and getting together with friends. Linda, you did some of the friends characters sitting on their couch. That is, where would you ever find a pattern I've for something I've seen that, like that kit somewhere. The friend, there's a friends kit, right? See, I have a hard time crocheting things in a shape. Like I have a hard time with slippers. Um, so I think that's why I think maybe I'm having a hard time with amigurumi because I'm having a hard time crocheting it in the shape. 
Okay. So round six is a little bit different. We are going to, okay, we're only going to be working behind the flower petals. All right. So you can see that we have these skips uh, stitches in between each flower petal. There's two stitches, one and two. We are going to be working into those two stitches. All right. So we're going to start with three double crochets. Now she's going to start with a standing um, double crochet. I'm going to start with a chain three. So I'm going to go into that stitch and attach my yarn, chain up three to equal the height of my double crochet. Then I'm going to go, I'm going to grab my tail so I can sew that in at the same time. Go back into that same stitch and do two more double crochet. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch, which is also behind that petal. You can fold it down if you need to, but you can see that stitch right there. I'm going to do three more double crochet. This row is really easy. You're just going to do three double crochet in each of those stitches that are behind the petals. And there's two stitches in each behind each petal. So for each petal, you're going to have six double crochets. Are you on your petal row yet, Mindy? God, no. <laughs> look, look what I got here. I don't know what I got here. Doesn't look right. Does it look right? Okay, I can't I see it. I get these weird bumpies here. See these weird? Yes, it's supposed to be bumpies. These are my like two half doubles from yep. the front. That's my Vs. Yep, it's supposed to be bumpy like that. Okay, all right. I'm not screwing it up. Okay. No, she even said in the video that it was going to be bumpy. Okay. Well, it looks funky. Whoops. I yarned over one too many times. That's all I got. It looks funky. It does, but in the end, it works out. It it's supposed to it's supposed to kind of that center kind of raises up, um, and it's supposed to look like that. That's what she says in the video, anyway. That's what you can tell everybody. It's supposed yes. to look like that. She said it was supposed to do this. I got a knot in my excess yarn here. Oh, I hate that. I know, come on. Where's our issue? Where's the issue? So each of those stitches get three double crochets. See, this is why Angie completed a whole one already. And at the, so at the end of the round, you should have 36 double crochets. I need to pull that guy through there. Getting close to the end of this row, Angie. Good. <laughs> it's not a race. Just remember <laughs> that it's not a race. What do I end with on this one? Do I end with a front post V? You're going to you're going to end yeah. with you're doing the V stitch row? Yeah. Yes, you end I, with a I you end, end with, with a, a V. Oh good. Good. Yep. I got one one little half double here to go around. Perfect. I make a V there. I'm going to assume this is correct. <laughs> oh, you know what I just did, though? What? I'm doing a double crochet instead of a half double. Well, your V-stitches are supposed to be doubles. 
Oh, they are? Yes. Dang it, Angie. Well, this is all wrong. These stitches are always doubles. Well, I was doing them as a half double. Mindy, Mindy. I thought it was a... No, they're half double. Are they? Yeah. Oh, I did mine as doubles, and it looks fine. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, front yeah. post four? Uh -huh. No, it says front post V-stitch. Oh, it does. Back post half double. And a front post V-stitch. And v a front stitch. post V-stitch around the next. Oh. Okay, I'm tearing it out again. Here we go. <laughs> I would just roll with it. If Once it was me, if it was me, I'd roll uh, with it. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. That's probably why it looks funky. It could be. And yeah, you're not going to get the height on your pedals if you don't have them as doubles. All right. Here we go. Boy, at this rate, Mindy, it's going to be midnight before we get our first. Uh, no kidding. Square done. Well, that's, I kept wanting to do double crochets. I, I stopped twice because I didn't do a double because I did them as a half double. Right. I want to say this took me to do this square probably took about, it only took me about an hour and a half, which I didn't think it was bad. Now I'll see how this looks different. Told it's I taller. It looked, told I thought it looked funky. Um, All right, so now I come into the end of my round and I am going to slip stitch into the first, actually, I'm gonna slip stitch into my chain three because I, I started that with a chain three. So you started it with a standing double, slip stitch into your standing double or do a needle join if you wanna do a needle join. I'm not doing a needle join. So you're gonna stay with the same color for round seven and um, actually close with a slip strip to the first stitch. And okay, she says that that slip stitch start counted as the first stitch of the next round, which is interesting. So, oh, okay, I remember what we're gonna do here. <laughs> this is gonna, this is gonna make, this round is gonna make, um, see how this is kind of ridged, um, this, uh, this row of petals around the petals, leaves around the petals. Um, this, we're gonna make that ridgy. We're gonna make these double crochets kind of fold up into a cup where they're gonna cup up. So in the first stitch, you do a slip stitch, a chain one, and a half double crochet, all into the same stitch. Now we've already done the slip stitch because the slip stitch counted from that last round. We slip stitch into it. So we're gonna do a chain one and a half double crochet into that same stitch. Then we're gonna do a half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Then we're going to do the opposite of what we did on that first stitch. We're going to do a half double crochet, a chain one, and a slip stitch into the same stitch. So a half double, a chain one, and a slip stitch into the first stitch. Then you're going to go to your next stitch and don't skip it. It's going to look like you might want to skip that. Make sure it's the next stitch. Do a slip stitch, a chain one, and a half double. And then a half double into the, each of the next four. And then a half double, a chain one, and a slip stitch. And see how it's making it kind of like a choo choo, kind of like a choo choo, a uh, choo choo, <laughs> kind of like a choo choo. Linda said she got the um, kit for friends on Amazon.
Angie, work the end of the yarn into the new stitch and the knot is hidden with the pro within the project. Yes, I, um, yes, I do try to do that usually. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm trying to be in a hurry or something. I don't know. You guys make me so nervous. Now it's even more bumpy, Angie. Yep, it will be. Now it's even more bumpy. <laughs> Or my bumps are bigger. It was already bumpy, but my next row is the same color. Am I right? Yes. And your next row is pretty easy. So I just join over here. Okay. It better be because that one was a struggle. Did I count wrong? I think I counted wrong. All right. What do I do now? <laughs> I'll be working in the stitches from both round three and four. What? Yep, you're going to start with, you're just going to start with seven double crochets and do the chain two space of your first V-stitch. This might be confusing if anybody's paying attention to what we're saying because we're both on different rounds. I know, right? <laughs> no. Hang on, how do I get, I skip the first two chains? Yep. I just skip all the way over to the V-stitch? Yep. And I just do seven double crochets on that? Yep. I feel like I'm skipping a big space. Yep. Okay. Be fine. Seven. And then I'm still slip stitching, chain in one. This knot double. is still here. Why is this knot still here? Get out of my arm. Thank you. Now I forgot how many doubles I did. One, two, three, four. Five. See, now you're doing it too. I uh, know. Oh, I've just encountered a knot as well. How do you like them apples? I don't. I don't like those apples at all. Oh, those apples aren't good at all. Speaking of apples, do you have apple trees, Mindy? We do. They're crab apples. Oh. Now we slip stitch into what? Okay, so go look into your round three. You're going to have two stitches Oh, two light blue ones. Yep. Now, the second one, you're going to slip stitch into that. So go in from the bottom up to the top and slip stitch. Okay. And that's going to pull that. Um, My light blue up? It's going to, well, it's going to pull your uh, petal up. Mm-hmm. Then you just do the same thing again, or what? Yep. Then you just do keep doing seven the same in the thing. next one. Yep. All right. Well, you're right. This round's pretty easy. Yeah. Once you get past the fact that you're skipping a whole bunch of things, it feels weird. Right. Is choo choo a technical term? Yes, Jody. Choo choo. Hi, Jody. What are you doing here? I'm surprised to see you. You talk about Jody in your whip and chat. I do. <laughs> I do. All right. I don't know why. What I need to do so you can see me better. You can't see me worth a poopy dooby. That's okay. I've been screwing up, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm coming to the end of this round. So I just did my last slip stitch and I'm on round. We should really be on the same round. <laughs> um, I'm on round seven and I should have 
36 half double crochets, 12 slip stitches, and 12 chains, which I do. So I just trust that I do. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, count your stitches. <laughs> so I am going to slip stitch into my first slip stitch. At least at the beginning. Well, you know, I got the right amount of petals. Now, you see, here's the thing that's interesting about you is you have done some of this type of stuff before. with Yeah. The, and I haven't really done anything like this. Oh, you haven't? Mm-mm. Oh. This is my first, yeah. Well, I mean, that little flower we did at the retreat doesn't really count. That wasn't really like this. Linda woke up with a snort. <laughs> that's funny. Or Lynn. I'm sorry. Lynn woke up with a snort. <laughs> So here's how it's looking so far. And I don't think, and it does look a little bit smaller than my original one. So I did go down a little bit in size by lowering my hook size, but I didn't lower it enough. I couldn't work with that three millimeter hook. Um, no. Not because it was too small, but because of, I don't, okay. See how Susan Bates hooks have the, the throat is flat like that. And see how this hook goes down at the throat you and see what? how the Susan yeah, Bates a... hooks are pointy at the end yeah, mine's and this a boy. hook is rounded at the end I don't like I only like Susan Bates hooks you know it, it's um hi Margaret um everybody Lisa what's your favorite hook I, I mean I know you have a favorite hook uh, if you're an avid crocheter you have a favorite hook that you just always gravitate towards and I have furls hooks I have tulip hooks I have likey hooks I have rosewood hooks and I always gravitate towards my Susan Bates I don't know why okay so I'm moving on to round eight what am I finishing five <laughs> should I wait for you you'll be waiting all day I'll wait for you no, you don't have to wait. What are you going to do? Boy. Do song and dance oh, boy. And in the crowd. I mean, you know. Ooh, Nancy likes Susan Bates with bamboo handles. I've never seen those. See, I have a hard time with any hook that has uh, any, that isn't a straight shaft. Like I have trouble with ergonomic ones because I'm a deep crocheter. I stick my, I stick my hook in really deep. So if I have those, the ergonomic hooks or a hook that has, you know, a wood handle and a aluminum uh, shaft or whatever, um, I stick my, I, it, it hits, it hits that. And I, I just, I don't. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Like where it starts to get fat. Yeah. The exactly. hook gets fat or you can't go in any further. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um. What do I do here when I get my last petal? Is there another thing I uh, slip stitch into? Down yep, below? you should have one more to slip stitch into. I find a little thing here. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it that. Yep. Yeah. Margaret make... says I'm doing an awful diamond painting with even more awful drills for summer with the masters. Huh. I should have. Uh, what? Did, where is it from? If you don't mind sharing. <laughs> And is that the end? Is that, or do I slip stitch into something else? Then, um, let me, I don't remember. Let me go back. Slip stitch into the, mine's it's on a, my. It wants you to do an invisible join. Oh, well, I ain't doing all that. Can no. I just hook it into something else? Yes, yeah, so you can just slip stitch it. Into slip stitch into. And, I actually called that last slip stitch my slip stitch and fastened off there. You just called that good right here? Yep. So you just left it like this right here? Yep. And look, can you see it? No, you can't see it because no. your petals. We have how many petals? Six? One, two, three, four, five, six? Yep. I have okay. seven. Huh? No, I don't. I'm kidding. Oh, my God. Thank <laughs> <laughs> like you. What? Oh, that's <sighs> funny. <laughs> just messing with you. You almost had me believe in you for a second. I know. <laughs> mm. Now what color do I use? What round are you going on to? Line uh, six. Six. So now you're going to be working um, limestone. Yeah, limestone. 
which one's my limestone? Limestone is hummus. It should be this one right it's here. It's brown. Yeah, it should be that brown one. It's called hummus. Isn't that exciting? Yep. So now what you're going to be making is you're going to be making these. Um, if this is a really easy round. Again, good. I need, yep. another, I need another course, easy one. Look at my back. Maybe I could sit here and sew in my ends while I wait for you. Uh, I'm um, way behind you, though. And look, I got to get yarn out of here still. All right. What's your, well, trick? You What's your trick? My trick is if the, okay. and Okay. So this says yarn be this See, way. I always go in from the left. Go in from the left to find your. The, from the left of the label. Like if that's, the, that's where it's tight. Yep. I can't get in. It's too tight. Yes, you can. Stick your little finger and thumb in there and you can get I, it. I squished it apart. I squished it. Ooh, look. Ooh, All right, I'm going to start on round eight then. Go ahead. I'm All just, right. Just do your thing there. Oh, here comes some glob. I got a glob. My your yarn, Lisa. Your yarn always gets snags on the end of Susan Bates. That's interesting. That's uh, because, huh? It's funny how everybody has different preferences. Just like the same thing with diamond painting pens and waxes and stuff like that. Everyone just has different preferences. It doesn't make anybody yeah. right or wrong. Just, just different. Okay. I, I have different hooks in all of my different projects. Do you really? Yeah. And that doesn't bother you? No. Huh. Yeah, I have a different kind of hook in each thing I'm working on right now, I think. I always, I, 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 sometimes like if I crochet for like eight or nine hours. <laughs> well, see, I, I don't do that. And I get a little bit of fatigue in my fingers from my Susan Bates hooks. Then I um, will switch to like my furls because it's got a wider handle just so I can get some, you know, a little bit of release. Um, I only have one furls and it's really large. And so there's no project I can work on right now with it. It's too big. Oh. Like a seven or something, and yeah, there's not much that you use a seven for. No, what row am I on? Six. Melinda, you like the clover ergonomic? Should have thrown it away a long time ago, Margaret. I like that clovers. Was... I like clovers too. You do? Uh -huh. I might, I have never tried clovers. Yep, I like my clovers. What? Nancy bought a set of clovers at Salvation Army for three dollars. Work only in the skipped. Okay, I'm gonna show you what to half do. post half double. Yep, yep. Ooh. It's 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 not as hard as you think. Okay, flip it over. The bat. It look between your petals. There's gonna be two stitches between your petals that you can see. Okay, sort of. Do you see them? Sort of. Okay, you're gonna put three double crochets into each of those two stitches. What? Yes. Okay, like, okay. I don't know if you can see this. This one and this one? I can't see it. Okay, let me see if I can. Okay, hang on. Like here and here? Like this? Yes. This? In, yep, that and that. Yes. Okay, so yep. you join in here too? Yep, you join right in there. Just start in here and then yep. there's two what in there? I did a chain three and then two double crochets. You can do a standing one if you want to. A chain three and two doubles in each one. No, a chain three in this one. Okay, hang on. Enjoy. Yeah, Lisa, I like the bamboo hooks too. I have, well, actually it's driftwood, the likey driftwood hooks. I have a couple of those and I really like those too. But the thing that gets me about those is it doesn't have this little flat part like the boy and the Susan Bates do. And I find that I, um, uh, let me ask you a question. Twist it. Okay. You did a chain three. Uh huh. And you and did two doubles in the same stitch. And then you're going to do two doubles in the next. Then you do three doubles in the next. Oh, thank you. Cause I'm like, yeah. why are we doing two if we only want to? Never mind. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, okay. so you're going to put three doubles in each, okay. in each stitch. Got it, yeah. Yep. Is that all I do all the way around? That's all you do all the way around. 
Okay. I'll be caught up to you in no time, don't worry. Yeah, you will. No, I won't. We'll just sit here and talk about hooks. There you go. Oops, I need that. I, need I should that try thing. the clovers. I've never tried. Do you have any clover hooks? I have a couple clovers. And you like, like them? them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I do like those. The stitches around the stitches around. So and nothing, nice. nothing until I get over to these other two stitches, right? Right. Yep. Nothing else. Okay. Yep. It's hard to it's hard to pick out. Oh, so here's my knot. See, I'm just gonna have to make this up. My my little knots over here. I'm gonna have to make this a stitch somehow here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to start round eight. Should I start round eight? Go ahead. All right. Um, round eight is with cream. Uh, it says, note, work the tall V stitches around the stitches from round six and seven. Begin around any given. Any given? What? <laughs> okay, tall V stitch. Around, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think back to what we did. I know this is where I would probably um, watch her video and, you know. Okay. I remember a tall V stitch is just a triple crochet chain to triple crochet or treble. If you, whatever you call it, I call it triple. I don't know. I call them triples too. Yeah. So you're just going to any, any of these gaps between the leaves, they're calling these the leaves, these brown things. So these brown things. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna chain four. I'm not gonna do a standing one. I just don't like it. And you're never gonna know the difference. Actually, I'm going to have to chain six because I'm going to have to chain four and then chain two for the middle of the V stitch. So chain a total of six. So I did that tall V stitch and then chain three, skip five stitches, single crochet in the third and fourth loop of the fourth half double of the leaf. Okay. This one was a little bit tough for me. All right. This is where we're going to. Oh, wait, wait. Me. It's no. getting tough for you now? Now I'm in trouble when we get there. Well. The last uh, ones were tough for me already. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it, you're going to come in into some anatomy of stitches. Okay. Anatomy so, of stitches. So you've got your first loop and second, your front loop and back loop, right? Of the top of your stitches. Then in the back here, you've got your third loop. You are going to be placing the stitch in the third loop only because you want this stitch. You don't want to interfere with the front two loops when you look at it. So what you're going to do is you're going to count over and in your fourth half double crochet of the leaf, one, two, three, four, you're going to go behind and put and do a single crochet into that third loop. Do I just slip stitch to my first one when I get here? What do I do? Where are you? The end of my brown, my, my, my puffy stitches here, my petals. Yeah, because you're going to keep working. You're going to slip stitch into the top of your chain. Three. I slip stitch in the top of the chain? Okay. Yep. Okay. And that slip stitch is going to count as the first stitch of your next round. Okay. All right. That's what I'm supposed to have, huh? Look. Yes. Look at. Look, I pulled them all in. Aren't they cute? Well, we can't see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yep. It looks great. Perfect. <laughs> they look perfect. Okay, Thanks, Lynn. Margaret. Feed the puppies, Lynn. <laughs> All right, now I gotta figure out what I'm doing next. What is next? 
Next is easy. Begin in any double crochet of the set. Well, I'm already in a double crochet. Yep, you're gonna. Yeah, you, you. So what you're gonna do from where you're at? You're gonna chain one. You've already done a slip stitch. Yep, I did. The first stitch of your of chain your one. chain and one half and, double. and half double into the same stitch. And then you're gonna half double into the next four. I need an iPad. Too hard to see this on my phone. Put it in on your wish list. No kidding, right? It doesn't have to be an Apple iPad either. It could just yes, be it a does. tablet. No, it could no. be a tablet. <laughs> no, it has to be an Apple. No, no. <sighs> We are Apple. We are an Apple family. I'm not. I lost count what I have now. So let's see. One, two. I should have five. Yeah. The first one and then four well, more. The first one and then four more. And then you're going to do the opposite of what you did at the first end. So you're going to half double crochet chain one slip stitch into the same stitch oh into the same stitch the next one yep half double chain one slip stitch yep we just made a little arch exactly so okay, your next then... stitch you're gonna you're gonna slip stitch chain slip one stitch. half double chain one half double into that one and then i do four yep okay lisa how do you like your android or your um your non-apple tablet I'll tell you what happened to me. And this was years and years. I'm going to age myself. Years and years and years ago, I thought I was going to be saving money. And I bought a fire tablet or something for one of the kids. I don't remember if it was Emily or Madeline. And um, the what they wanted it for was for apps. And it couldn't download apps. Well, at least not the apps they wanted. Um, and like I said, this was years and years and years ago. And so I was just, I was disappointed because I spent all that money and then it couldn't even do what they wanted it to do. So from then on, we just went with Apple. And once you have everything Apple to everything kind of syncs up nicely. Oh, you can tell when you're at the end of your thing here, too. That's your seven. You're doing all those in. Right? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, when we're doing when we're doing this little like archy thing, that's in the seven. Um, yes. Yes. So you can kind of tell when you're at the end of the seven or the beginning yes. of the seven. Or exactly. Whatever. I'm already at the end of, um, you didn't like the apple, Lisa? Huh. Apple's too smart for me. <laughs> no, I don't believe that. So now I'm at, because I chained six to start and said what with, for my triple, I'm going to count up and slip stitch into the fourth chain on my hook so that I have a chain two left for the middle of my V stitch. And I believe we, yeah, stick with the same color um, for this round. So this 
round is a little bit different. Um, let me read this. In round nine, you work. You're done with eight already. It's very easy. Look at all round eight is is um tri <laughs> triple crochet V stitches and chain three spaces. Okay. It's yeah, super super simple. Um, Lisa, there's nobody who is less tech savvy than me. I'm like. No, me. No, you're better than us. No. Excuse me, you're better than I am. No. You're way better than I am. I don't think so. I don't think we're going to get done with this square today. We're not. I'm not. <laughs> no. I'm definitely not. <laughs> I, I'm proud of what I got done, though. Yeah. So I started definitely. over and struggled and. Definitely. So let me see. In round nine, you work a single crochet two together over the trebles in the tall V stitch. From round eight, starting at any given. I made it around. I made it around. I made it around. Now what Good do I do? job. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? See, Linda, that's what I think the problem was. I think you're right. Fire is different from other androids. And I, yeah, I agree. I if, Probably if I would have tried at that point, if we would have tried a different android, we might be in a different place today than we are. But I'm on round um, seven, correct? Yes. So I just I tie this one off? No, you're, start, you're staying with the same color. For three rounds? No, you're on round eight then. Yeah, you're on round eight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I finished this one off. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I finished this off. So I just slip stitch into my next over here. Got to connect these, right? Yep. Got to connect them. Just like that. Okay. If you don't connect them, it'll fall apart. <laughs> there you go. How's the weather down there? It's getting kind of overcast here. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Mindy and I only, for anybody who doesn't know, Mindy and I only live about an hour, hour and 20 minutes from each other. Your little petals in the middle ever lay back down? No, they're supposed to stick up. Well, I mean, but and not like this, though. Not like that. <laughs> Yes, they're supposed that completely like, like a cup like that. Yes, they're supposed to. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. And then each of these squares we do has a different freaking name, right? You got to remember which yes. one's which. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What color yes. do I need now? I'm moving on to eight. I go back to cream. Cream. Yep. Okay. Back to cream. Yeah. It's getting like it could rain, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lisa. The one plus. I told you I'd be up to round eight soon, right? <laughs> Ooh. You're, of course you're, what's you're, that? You're on ten, probably. No, what? I'm on nine. I, I'm, I'm at. I haven't even started nine yet. I was waiting for you. No, well, I'm, I'm catching up. Look, I'm catching. Up. I know you've only, and this is an easy round. Okay, I feel like I have a bouquet. I'll hold it here like this. I can't see it. Hold my strings. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's like yeah. I'm ready to walk down the aisle or something. Yeah. Okay, now what do I do? I join somewhere, I'm certain. Yep. Okay. Um, any of those places, your you, the spaces between the leaves. All right. So I'm not going to go where my knot is because that always messes me up. Just any of those I'm big spaces between one. your leaves. Join there. Okay. And then I started with a chain four for a triple. Is this your weird round? It's not. No, the next one is the weird one. The one I haven't started yet. <laughs> you chained four? I chained four and then I chained two more because we're making a triple crochet V stitch. Five, six. Got it. Yeah. And then do another triple into the same space. Okay. Look, I got a big hole. Look at there. Raining in GR? Is that Grand Rapids, Linda? Yeah, probably. Yep. So now you're going to chain three. Yes, ma'am. 
And then you're going to count over and in your fourth half double crochet, you're going to flip it over and you're going to go into the third and fourth loop. What? Yes. This is what I was telling you. You need to know the anatomy of your stitches. So look at, okay. Is this, do I yarn over first or do I just go poke it in there? Just go poke it in there because it's okay, a single so crochet. One, so you've got two, your three, four. Yep. So you've got your two, you've got your V on top, right? Yep. You now flip, flip it, it over, over. You got another your loop. third. And then there's a, then just find something else to hook it into. Something else. Just. <laughs> <laughs> okay there's a, there's another loop in there there's another loop and you there. just cut what are we doing just a like single crochet okay it doesn't matter as long as you're like hooking on yeah okay. it doesn't you matter see, as long as you see mine look person. there's where i hooked into can you see I it can't, no hang on yeah yeah I, I just hooked in right there is that yeah you're good let me see it from the front Let me see it from the front. One moment. As long as from the front, you don't see the single crochet. Okay. It's. Yep. As long it's as that's. It's down in there. It's yes. down in there. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Then I do what? Chain three. And do a triple crochet V stitch into that next space. Between my. Between my petals. Oh, Lynn or Melinda, they're in the upper 90s to low 100s Ugh, till early August. That's, that's, that's ugly. That's awful. It's just ugly. Deb's got just a nice light rain. That's cool. Chain two in between. Chain three. Oh, chain two in between your V-stitch, yes. Oh, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Now I chain three. Yep. And go grab the back of my fourth. Your third and fourth loop. Or your fourth, yeah, go grab my, my something down there. So, grab something down there in the back of your I'm grabbing section. something down there. Chain three. At least it's a dry feet. <laughs> Melinda, no, you get there's, no there's no such thing. There, Melinda, there's no such thing as a just dry heat. Heat is heat. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah. My brother keeps telling me that about Texas. And I'm like, no. Mm -mm. All right. Yeah. You got that, right? I, I got this. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start reading about row nine because there's a big note with an exclamation point in the uh -oh. beginning of row nine. Yeah. In round nine, you work a single two together, single crochet two together over the trebles in the tall V stitches from round eight. Starting in any given chain space, begin as a normal. Okay. They're just telling us how to do a single crochet two together, which is fine. You're never working in the stitches, but the head of the decrease falls right on top of it having one leg in each chain. Okay. All right. So slip stitch into the next chain two space. Okay. That's easy enough. So we ended by um, slip stitching into the fourth chain of my chain six. So I'm going to slip stitch over. So I'm in the middle of my chain two space from my tall V stitch. And I am going what to. You call it your tall leaf stitch? V stitch. Oh, your tall V stitch. <laughs> You're like uh, the leaf stitch. What? Yes, it's a new. It's a new stitch that I okay. just created. Yeah. Gotcha. It's going to be taking the crochet world by storm. The leaf stitch. Yes. The leaf stitch. Yes. How do we like the yarn? The yarn. I love it. I know, and it got better with a larger hook. It well, truly... it's not. It's this is technically they're they're calling it a four weight. And I can see where it probably is a four weight yarn. Yeah. Um, I'm using this exact same yarn for a blanket that I'm making for Sue. Where is Sue today? Uh, she's at her daughter's house. Oh, okay. I'm making a blanket for Sue and I'm using this same yarn and it is working up beautifully. It, it's, it, I really, really like it. 
it's got a nice shine to it. It doesn't yeah. split. It's soft. It's soft, very soft. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't split. You, it, I was having trouble when my hook was too small and everything was too tight, like getting caught and then it would split because I'd get caught in a, you know. Right. Because, well, those first few rounds are very tight. Yeah. So I'd grab the thread. I, I'd grab one thread and, yeah. you know, those half doubles I was struggling with. But it's cruising now. Yeah, yarn bee is nice stuff, isn't it? I, I like it. I, I I've used yarn bee quite a bit. And you know, if you can get it on sale for the 30% off, it's five dollars four ninety-nine for per um skein is what this was. And that's for 180 yards of a four weight, hundred percent light lyocell. Um if you get it 30% off, I don't think that's too bad. I mean, that's right comparable with a any cotton that you're going to be able to get and it's much softer than it's uh, super soft than the cottons that we found yeah yeah because cottons only kept finding were just kind of rough and they weren't yeah yeah oh not not light rain there oh light rain coming for us stop good i'm gonna put your head on this pillow yeah want it to be soft right of course, you'll have your head will be in this little cup made by our flower top, but that's of okay. course that's all right. You're working on a shawl with hobby Sultan shadow. Is mm. that is that a uh, Sultan shadow? Is that um, is that like the Sultan Deluxe? I made a shawl, or I made a dress, a uh, little girl's dress with the Sultan Deluxe. I have never used any of that. Oh my gosh. I just ordered some yarn from Hobby. And because uh, I saw on Facebook, you know, they have those ads that come up. All and, the time. Um, yeah, four tiny cotton threads. Exactly, Melinda. But yeah, they have the ads. That I come have up. some of that. And uh, there was a shirt a top that I saw that I really wanted to make. Do I chain three here and then hook into my thing over here? Yes. Then you, you want to go up and slip stitch into the fourth. Yeah. One, yep. two, three, four, up here yes. somewhere. Up here somewhere. <laughs> Do I keep this color or we switch? We're keeping that color. And now we're together again. Are you serious? I'm serious. Okay. Does mine look like yours? Does yours look like mine? Is that what it looks like? Yep, exactly what it looks like. I think I did my round, last round a little too tight. My tension was a little tight, but yeah, mine's, it'll, a, mine's a little tight. But it'll pull itself out. And these really do like really funnel up. Like yes, yes, they <laughs> I do. They would like lay down a little bit more. No, but... no, it's a three dimensional. Sure, it's definitely it is. three dimensional. All right, you want to do another round, or you want to call it a day? Um, what time is it? 3.34. Oh, geez. We should probably call it a day, huh? That's what I was thinking. We don't want to. Hour and a half. Yeah. And I caught up to you. Woo, woo. Yep, yep. Thanks. So Thanks for slowing down. No problem. I tell you what we do before the next time. I mean, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just, so I, just decided I wasn't going to try crocheting them in as I was going. I'm just like. No, it's just no. Yep. So I don't know how this guy got on the top, but he's on the top. Yeah, one of mine was on the top too. I just stuck a hook in and pulled him back. Everybody else is on the bottom, but we'll get those tied in before the next time. Yeah. yeah definitely. Definitely. Well, yeah. I hope that everybody had a good time and I like it. Fumble. It's fun. It is fun. I'm looking forward to we're gonna Yours do the like it lays flatter than mine. No, it doesn't. It looks just like yours. <laughs> okay. Lay down. Lay down. Start it's not supposed up. to lay down. <laughs> uh, so now we get all lacy after this, don't we? Yes, we're going to get all lacy and pretty after this. It gets cool. fun after this. The next cool. rounds are fun. Yay. Um, I like but it. Yeah, we're going to do this every Friday, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Nancy, I'm glad you found us, too. Um, we're going to be doing it every Friday. We'll we should be, be able to finish this one this square yes. this week. 
Yes, we'll definitely be able to. It's yeah. very simple going from here on out. We'll definitely be able to finish the square this next week. Cool. Maybe even start on the next one. We'll yes. See. Oh, my goodness, Stacy, it's us. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. <laughs> All right. I got to figure out a little different angle for my table next time because you're coming from behind you, which it was working well. Yeah. I'm coming from the side and it wasn't. Working as well. Yeah, yeah, it might be better if you came in from behind. I know it's just that. I mean, I, I'd have. I got to get push. something a little bit nicer to work on yes. other than my crap, my Coleman camping table that's all stained up. I'm at my, I'm at my desk, and my computer sits over here on my desk, and my table's here. So it's like I can't really come in from behind because. Can you come in from behind on your left? Um, no, I, there's nothing over there to put my laptop on. Oh. Unless I could figure out, I could unhook my laptop, I suppose. Nancy, I've never used, I'm sorry, I'm going back to an old comment that I didn't see. Um, uh, Hobby Lobby, I love this cotton. Is that nice and soft? I've never used it, um, but I'd like to try it. Okay, so you know, um, you know, what's her name? The Yarnery, Secret Yarnery? Yeah. She goes live on Friday mornings. Okay. And they were talking about cotton yarns. Yeah. And they were talking about the two cottons different people were saying they liked. One was the, I love my cotton from um, Hobby Lobby. Lobby. Yep. And, you know, she's a huge ice yarn. And she likes, um, I think it's called Simply Cotton or something from Ice Yarns. Ooh, I might have to try that. I was trying to find it. You let me know what you find. It's hard. They they had, I found like Simply Cotton Fine, which is like a two weight. And that's not what. Okay. And see, I would much. like that because I've been making some summer tops. Wait till you right. guys see my summer tops I've been making. This was oh. this is one I made for myself. I'll show you right. I, it just happened to be sitting there. Oh, it's like a little halter top. It's like a little halter top. That's Isn't that cute, cute as shit. Isn't that adorable? It and is that's, cute. Yeah, and in the back, it um, wow, it, it laces it's up. Just got straps. Yep, it's yep. just got it's got a neck strap, and then it has uh, it laces up in the back. That is cool. Yeah, I really that's like it. I don't have occasion to wear it, but I'm going to hippie fest. Well, there you go. That's a hippie fest thing. Yep. Oh, I've been buying all hippie kinds fest. of samples of cotton yarns. I oh, got and I like, made this pineapple one too. I think I've gotten four different cotton yarns in the mail in the last couple of days from just Amazon and different places, trying them out. I made this That's one cute. too. That's cute. That's yeah. not for me. I'm obviously not going to wear that, but <laughs> those are cute, though. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the pattern, Stacy. It is. <laughs> it is sisters in stitch. It is the island stroll crochet along, and we're doing the pillow. I mean, you could do the blanket if you want to do the blanket. That's a, a bulky yarn they're using there. It's a little different than what we're doing. It's the same kind of thing, except it just turns out bigger because you have a bigger yarn. Bigger Thanks, yarn. Lisa. But yeah, check it out and get the pattern and join yeah, along. Yeah, get the pattern. And Definitely. if you want to get through round eight, we have completed through round eight of our round. Session. Yep, round eight of the Ponding Lily Square, which is square number one. Ponding Lily. We're going to have to label these things or yes, something. Yes, we're going to have to do something. <laughs> label them so we remember which ones they are. Yes, yes. They're all different. Is there like four of them? I um, saw the completed. I saw the putting together video, and she's got them all laid out. There's like the big ones, and then the small squares, and then the triangles fill in. And the octagons. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Anyway. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a great time. What'd you find, Nancy? What What'd you find that was cute? What are you looking for? Uh, I think she was looking for the pattern. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So follow along with us. It'd be fun. We're going to do it every Friday at 2. There you go. Yep. So I'm just going to make sure I get my um, my ends sewn in before then and be ready yep. to go. Be ready got to a little do it. dimple here in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a lot of ends, man. I know I do. See, I... I 
I, I stopped of, worrying I about them. trying to crochet them in. I was just like, no. Yeah, I cro I tried to crochet some of mine in. Yeah, so. I just gave up on that. I was more concentrated on how to get it. Like this one I could cut off. This one's crocheted in. I got one crocheted in. Perfect. We'll snip him off right now. He's crocheted in. <laughs> <laughs> One go. down, 20 to go. There you go. Well, I've been working on that other blanket, that day tripper blanket, and it's all granny squares and whatnot. Yeah. So many ends, and every round is a different color. Yeah. So I've been sitting and just making myself weave in ends before I move on to the next squares. So I'm almost there. Well, you're going to try the blanket, Stacy. Awesome. That'll be fun. Yeah. And we're basically, it's the same, we're doing the same thing. It's just with a with a smaller yarn. Um, I think Kira's doing fine, Simply Complicated. Thanks. So, yeah, there you go. We'll see you Friday then and we'll continue. Okay, yeah, sounds right. great. Well, we'll see you before then. I'll see, we'll both see you tomorrow. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. See you guys later. All right. Bye. Bye.